Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping a link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. You can check out our second YouTube channel called funny and jesse to go and all you guys can hit the subscribe and enjoy our weekly content we've got a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse and we have some amazing conversations which you guys can check out and actually enjoy you can find us on itunes spotify podbean this channel or our second youtube channel and just enjoy we've got a patreon called funny and jesse and you guys can head there feel free to become members and will appreciate a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far thank you for subscribing thank you for liking sharing commenting everything that you guys are doing we are very humbled by everything just everything 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 so thank you very much i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed so today i'm going to be reacting to what does allah mean without wasting time let's get into the video Hi, in the last video we said Islam is submitting to the will of Allah. But what does the word Allah mean? Well, it basically means to God. Allah is also the name of the God, which includes all of his 99 great names. But does it mean something other than the God? No, Arab Christians would actually say Allah to God because they speak Arabic. They don't have another word for God. In fact, if you were to go to first century Nazareth, you would hear Jesus, peace be upon him, say Allah. Yes, you see, Jesus, peace be upon him, spoke Aramaic and it's a very similar language to Arabic. And if you actually search in Google the God in Aramaic, you will find the name Allah in Arabic as the first thing you'll see. Sometimes people don't understand this. They think of Allah as an idol or some kind of a tribal Arabian God. But the only reason why we choose to say Allah instead of God is that Allah is not just the God, but also a personal name, the most beautiful name, and the name that consists of all the other beautiful names of God. Another misconception that people have is they think of Allah as some man who is watching us from the skies. But it's just so wrong. Okay, think of it like this. Let's say I made this cup. There are certain things you can say about us. First of all, if I made this, that means I am not like this. We are different. Secondly, I am not inside of this. You shouldn't search for me in the cup. Well, Allah is the creator of the heavens and the earth. He is the creator of time and space, meaning he is timeless and placeless. Allah is always closer to us than our jugular vein when we are far away from being close to him. To understand what this means, think of it this way. Just like how the sun is so close to us by giving its light and heat when we are hundreds of kilometers away from it, Allah is always with us. For something that is luminous, something that gives light, there is no far or close. The one who is light and gives light to everything that gives light. And just like how the sun gives its light and heat to both England and Nigeria at the same time, Allah keeps you and me alive at the same time. He gives blessings to you and me at the same time. He hears you and me at the same time. If a lifeless creation, sun, can be in multiple places, how can anyone say that its creator can't? Also, some people think we believe in a cruel God. Well, we believe Allah is the ever-forgiving, the compassionate, the loving, the forbearing one, the most gracious, the merciful, the source of goodness, the most generous, the best over, the ultimate source of peace. He has 99 beautiful names and 1001 amazing attributes. If you look at the Quran, 113 of the 114 chapters of the Quran starts with in the name of God, the most merciful, the most compassionate. This is the God we believe in. Well, we have a long journey in front of us. We will talk all about him in our upcoming videos. So if you want to be notified, subscribe and then click this sign right next to it. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Tell us what you think about our videos. You can do that on the comment section. And as always, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I really like how you explained this. I like also how you covered 
the misconceptions about the shame of God or Allah otherwise I really love this I have nothing to say because everything was very very straightforward he took his time to explain and everything was just like I was wowed by the way he just explained it in such a slow manner but you get to understand something and loved his accent by the way uh, let me know what you think about this and a big shout out to the person that suggested this um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video